Mas é óbvio. All right. What's up, everybody? Mick Jagger here in the background. I'm going to turn him off. And Mick Sozalens okay. here with a very interesting concept, an existing business, and some of the guys behind the, behind the show, literally, are right here. And that is Arvids and Edgars, right? Hey, yeah. Yes. Hi. Hi, everyone. So first of all, I want to say thanks for being here. Um, second, a lot of Latvians will probably watch and wonder why the fuck we're talking in English. But as we discussed before, we want to have this um, available, this video and, and everything that will, you know, all the training that I might give you and, 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 and the campaign that we'll create. <clears throat> I want it to be available for a lot wider audience for people and various business owners to see that, you know, Facebook and Instagram ads can work for them, right? And, uh, and so, therefore, I wanted to make it in English and anything, you know, all our Latvian friends, if they don't understand something, they can ask in the comments below later or uh, anything like that. So, I just wanted to make it in English and thanks, guys, for taking me up on it and, and congrats, we're about to build you a campaign. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, why don't you introduce yourselves uh, to everybody who's watching and, um, and explain what you do. What is your business? <laughs> As always. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we are a crew uh, from five guys. We make shows for girls uh, plus 18. So it's, it's damn good striptease show. Yeah. <laughs> Party all the time. <laughs> Strip tease show. Yeah. It, uh, it show. Yeah, it's it show. It's not just strip tease. Okay. I think probably for all the ladies watching right now, they'll be wondering and like, <laughs> why didn't he ask this question? So I might as well ask. Are you guys single? Yes, 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 of course. All right. We are dancers. We are single. <laughs> Um, so, all right, well, tell me a little bit more. How did you start this business and how, how it came about to be and where you operate? Uh, from what I understand, it's mostly in Europe and Latvia, right? Where I'm yes. from originally um, as well. But tell me about it. Uh, before I started this business, I'm traveling around like two years in the uh, USA in a uh, real Chip and Dale crew starting. And then after one year, I started uh, doing choreography with this crew. And a little bit later, I think why well, I need doing my choreography uh, from for others. For others, if I can doing myself this company, and then I starting uh, find a guy who want to dance. Each guy say you want to dance a little bit like striptease, just a little bit. <laughs> and right now they starting dancing real striptease dance. But yes, my experience my experience is from USA and from Canada. I'm traveling around USA and then Canada. So you went to see those kind of shows to learn from what they no, do? No, no, I'm dancing myself. Oh, you dance. He was a part, yeah. Yeah, I'm a part he, in this crew. He was uh, the best one. The best one, top five. How did you get that job? Uh, I very hard tra training for this job. And then I like find like two years, I uh, always chatting with new companies, always writing. And one company was answering. And then I say, okay, I go showing. I want to try something new for me. It's be very first time. It's very risky. I like nervous because it's very far of Latvia. It's very far of Latvia, <laughs> and now I'm very happy because I'm built my company in uh, uh, going very well. So how long did you do it uh, in the uh, the first time in that other company? How long and dancing in USA or? Yeah, when in in the USA. Uh, two years. For two years, so yes. you get to have a lot of experience, see behind the scenes how they put yeah. it together, and then like six months of dancing in Canada. In Canada too. Yeah. What's the and difference between the U.S. and Canada? How is uh, it? Canada, it's like a little bit harder, a little bit more exp uh, professionally. Canada, a little bit more like harder dancing. Women want to see more than USA. More. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, because now like more how like shows, more, not, more not, like, uh, <laughs> not like just like dancing, but they want to see more choreographies, more routines, more professional guys who can dance. 
and this is a little bit different. So you but, took, but screaming you dog is like more on USA. Cool. You so say a woman's crazy, <laughs> very crazy. <laughs> Yeah, they don't hold much back, yeah? So people are very open. Uh, so yeah. you took all that experience, took it back to uh, Latvia, and, and when did you start this? How, how do you go about approaching other guys and like, hey, dude, I mean, I it's you interesting dance, story, you dance, yeah. not make it with me? <laughs> no, it's very interesting because like one guy from uh, coming from uh, London, because I know him very long time, he's he we agree, uh, say, you want to come dancing with me? He said, okay, I go. One time I need, because one guy I need very big. And I going to many gyms say, you not want to dance? Some guys like, what? What? <laughs> one guy say, he made a very good acrobat, the tricks doing. And then I say, I ask one guy, you want to dance just a little bit? Only topless. You need only topless dancing. He said, well, now, okay, I can try. Okay, after like two, three months, okay, you need a little bit more. You need to take pants off. He said, what? <laughs> I said, you need a little bit more. <laughs> Yeah, but right now he is take everything. But yes, just a little bit, little bit, little bit, a little bit. Yeah, it's yeah. step by step. Step by step. If I ask someone, you want to dance striptease? No, it's a Latvian, it's very shy, uh, shy guy. But right now it's like just step, step, step. It's done. Cool. Well, but it's very hard to find some guys in Latvia. It's because Latvian guy is very shy. Yeah, we're uh, sh shy people, huh? So uh, what about the ladies when they come to a show? Are they shy? Uh, no. No. <laughs> They're crazy. Actually, we thought that, uh, I personally, I thought that our mentality is more shy than, uh, than it is in real life. Yeah, it's like girls are going crazy. <laughs> nice. All right. So before, before I maybe share my screen and show others your, your site and campaigns, uh, tell, me, tell me what... what um, what does your service offer exactly? Or what types of services? I know, I guess you do big shows in the club, but you also do uh, private parties or bachelorette parties. Yeah, yeah. So we make uh, shows, uh, which is uh, two hours long. Uh, there's a different act, different uh, persons, uh, like like Kair, uh, the uh, personage. Different characters. Yeah, di different characters. Uh, so like a fireman? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So fireman, policeman, SWAT, you know, and <laughs> everything else. Yeah, like biker, this is the, the new thing uh, this year. And um, yeah, we also do uh, private parties like bachelors. And I'm not sure, am I right? But uh, uh, yes, but... Mm, we just try to focus on only on shows on Europe, USA, Canada, and yeah. Working very hard. Yeah, we're working very hard. We're just in the beginning and uh, this year okay. is pretty good. Hmm. Well, all right, let's see. Maybe I'll start sharing my screen here and uh, maybe I can uh, draw a little bit. So, hmm. <laughs> No, you're gonna... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Share screen. I'm going to share my uh, sketch pad here for now. All right, can you guys see this? Yeah, blank right. page, yeah? Blank page, yes. Yeah. So, um, all right, so first what you have, right? I want to write down what we have. And uh, let me select this pen a little bit better. So you have different services right so what what are those services um oh this is gonna i'm not, I'm not gonna this looks my handwriting is terrible can you type <laughs> i should be able uh, oh wait oh boom See? Okay, genius <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah i still have, i need to get used to this so services what are they? Uh, shows. So course. it's a, club, a show at a club, or what do you call it? Sh shows at the club, yeah. Two hour, two hour shows in club, yeah. Live two hour show mm. at a club. Okay. 
me see if I have an eraser. Ugh. I don't know what it's like. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom. So live show. Uh, oh, okay, that's that's one, right? So I'm gonna. I'm, I just want to write it out for others and also for us basically to understand which part I'm going to help you today with. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so, okay. Services. Um, so a option is a live show. I guess that's the biggest thing, right? I mean, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. how many people? Uh, I'm sorry. How many guys are there? Uh, five dancers. Five dancers. Okay. Then what is the other one, which is more pri the private parties? Uh, the private parties, like uh, corporate parties, like uh, also. But there's also two-hour shows at corporate parties, corporate events, yeah. Also two hours, okay. Yeah. Uh, third one is like uh, private parties, mostly it's uh, bachelors, like, like short ones, very short ones. How long? 30 minutes? No, no, no. It's like 10. 12, 10, 10, 10, 10 to 12. It's like one guy dance, uh, he, make, he make his show and he disappears immediately. <laughs> no, it's like girls day and uh, guys don't have to just hang out with them. So about 15 minutes? Yeah, till, till 15, yeah. Hmm. Okay. So how's it going right now? You guys are doing well. Do you feel like you need to grow? Uh, which uh, do you, are you trying to grow all of, all of these services? Because uh, from what I chatted before with you, we discussed that maybe we could start by helping you um, get more bachelorette parties, which I guess is the smaller uh, offer. But with that, with that, you can expose yourself to a lot bigger crowd in a way, but also you know do you want more club gigs what 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 are the goals the goals is uh, we are focusing only on the clubs like right, uh, right. like uh, clubs which is not uh, based in latvia uh, the europe or other countries yeah because uh, latvia it's like easy everyone knows us and uh, yeah okay so that's that's for the live show you want to focus on other countries too. So from what we discussed before was that uh, we could create a campaign locally for, for, to begin with for bachelorette parties where we talked with Arvids at least um, before this recording. And then we could yeah. create a campaign for the bachelorette for you to see that Facebook can work for you and how targeted it can get. And then maybe after we launch that success, we can, uh, um, you know, get uh, spread out to other countries in Europe. So I just wanted to make sure that that's still what you also wanted to do because we discussed that we could create the bachelorette parties um, mm -hmm. ad right uh, right now, and and then also go to the to the to spread out for uh, you know to, towards live show right. Okay. Uh, yes. Because okay, so. Who would be? Who would be for all of these? Who would be uh, the people who make the decision to uh, to order that show? So for a for the club, is it the club owner or is it the manager? How does it how does it work? It's uh, mostly. Uh... I know I, I'm I'm just guessing, but I think the DJ is working on starting to work on it. Yeah, it's like you got a mistake. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, I I think DJs are the first one, and then maybe uh, the final decision makes um, owner, but it starts from I guess DJ or like. Uh, Pasako manager is like Oxstats. So DJ proposes idea. I guess, yeah. Yeah. To so owner makes the decision. Yeah, and it's in Latvia, mostly. Okay, but but you want to take it further, right? 
Uh, yes, because, you know, when you speak with the owner, and you can make uh, everything quick uh, and, uh, and right. Yeah, you know. So for corporate events, who is the person hiring you? Uh, I guess it's like uh, some, some kind of manager who is like a public, public relation manager or kind of. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah kind of i guess because i don't think that owner c- c- counts to be a team manager. Yeah. Yeah. manager yeah that organizer who's responsible yeah who's responsible for for like uh, i don't know companies birthday evening uh events or like Christmas events or every other weekend. Like. Okay, so that's usually the person within that company or a third party who like is a company they hire to organize it and then they hire you. It depends on, I guess it depends on how big company is. Yeah, because the big company also, uh, usually orders something mm-hmm. uh, from other company and then like, uh, yeah. Okay, and then the bachelorette parties, uh, who is the one usually making the decision? Is it the bachelorette? Is it the, uh, her friends? Um, woman, so what's the woman? No, 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 because to that, uh, um, so who, decides, who decides to hire, hire you? I can throw to me. Is it usually a surprise that they get yeah, a yeah, surprise? Yeah, it's, it's always, always, always a surprise. surprise. Okay, so always like hundred percent, like ninety nine percent, like, but it feels like always. Okay, cool. So, uh, friends of the well, the girl getting married right yeah yeah Yeah. right cool so here we have like three different services right and and those would require completely three different campaigns right so as i said since we discussed the bachelorette parties maybe we can do the other one later too but you know it's a it's a i just want for this recording so let's just see for bachelorette parties because i'm sure there's plenty of those happening uh you know and and we can literally put out an ad and book a bachelorette party very soon. Like how many bachelorette parties do you get a month right now? Summertime is uh, very, very much summertime. It's like months, like 10 or 15 in months. It's summertime. So you get what? Like uh, 10 to like- 15? 10 to 15, yeah. In the summer, the whole summer or a month? No, 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 it's like a month. Sometimes we have like four uh, bachelor's party in one day. (laughs) Okay. Um, And then in winter? Hmm. Or fall? We we cannot answer you this question because, you know, we are like getting bigger, bigger each time and it's like like snowball, yeah? Yeah, so l- last winter wasn't, uh, I guess, in China. No, before. last winter I'm not be in Latvian. I'll be so outside Latvian. And when I go outside Latvian, I close in company. Okay. So in, in winter, I'm assuming it's half or less even. Maybe a yeah. few. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. It could be. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's see. All right. So... So that's basically a uh, uh, quick show. I'm just, I'm just trying to... So, mm-hmm. Sorry? Can we agree that this audience is on Facebook? It's definitely on Facebook. So let, let me show others if we can see. Can, can you see this now on the screen? Sorry? Do you, what do you see on screen now? Uh, one, two, three. It's okay. like full screen. Uh-huh. All right, I'm trying to oh stop share, okay. 
Oh, now I see you, yeah. All right, now I'm going to try to share the uh, logo. All right, here we go. So this is your Facebook page, right? Yeah. All right, everybody. Uh, so here, Mail Empire Night Out Show, right? Yeah, here's Arvid on the left corner. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Cool. I know this guy. Uh, yeah, everyone knows him. What it is. All right. So, so you have a lot of video content, which I'm really happy about that you can yeah. use to to uh to uh for the ads, and that's great because the show, of course, is visual. We can see. Let me turn this up for others to see. <laughs> <laughs> it was damn good party. It was so cool. All right. Plenty of action, right? So it's a tour. Yeah. Russian Kiss tour. Yeah, it was. Uh, this video is mm, uh, from uh, our opening. Uh, party like opening show yeah and it was in the biggest club in riga it was the for me it's pretty good club it's mm -hmm. like the best one so yeah we are very happy that uh, we made uh, our show opening show in the so you have pretty good engagement for our small country there right you have like look almost 5000 views on this one you got 26 people shared it right a lot yeah. of comments yeah. What else? Um, what was, uh, I think Arvitz was telling me a couple of days ago to check out some, was this a thing that was shared a lot? Oh yeah, 147 shares. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so this was promoting... Um, it's next our show. Next, part, next show. Yeah, it's like next. in smaller uh, city. So when you're promoting your show, uh, so... Who is the one you are the so I'm trying to understand because if we were to build this campaign also where you book more shows who it you are, you are already paid for the show right so it's already the club is paying you for the show right uh, no not this time this time we go on tickets oh you go on tickets so those, yeah, tickets, on... those tickets are sold at the club or they also pre-sold uh, online Pre-sold. They are pre-sold online, actually. Yeah, we, we're going pretty good. Okay. And how do you... Why is there not a button available to buy it? I guess it is. It's like um, the, you have to find the event from event. No, it's not. So, you know, here I'm looking. It's not... It was, it it was before event. It's like these we were teasing girls, you know. Like, <laughs> That's what you always do, I guess, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, job. Okay. And where is that? The one where? It's I was right there. This yeah, one? It, it is. Yeah. yeah. And there so have here? to. Oh, okay. So they can find yeah. the tickets here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, as I said. This could be another campaign I could definitely help you with. I don't know if we'll record it later. Um, that, so you could you could utilize their ticket service or you could create your own sort of uh, for your own event or even if it's an event at a different club and so you don't have to use a third party. For example, how, how much billers through service, uh, how much, what is the percentage they take? We can't answer this question. Well, I think it was publicly available. I remember dealing with them some years ago. Uh, you can uh, make some guesses, and I say yes, no. But I think, I'm, I'm I, think it sure. was, I think it was seven or ten percent, or is it more? Kinda, yeah, kinda, kinda. Okay. All right. Well, it's not that bad, I guess. So, um, so if I go there now, is this? Will I see how? Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. So you have a lot of. I love that you guys have a lot of stuff, your videos, these pictures, it leads to places already where you can buy stuff. So there's a lot of stuff we can do. So that's why I just wanted to focus on, on one thing now that we can quickly bang out and, uh, and, and get you results. Okay. Okay. So, uh, 
if we were to take bachelorette parties, um, let's just say we could, um, do you see my screen now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So I set up an ad account, which usually uh, is what you need to do. Uh, these guys, well, I'll tell everybody who's watching, I shared uh, the page. They gave me access to their page so I can go and, and advertise in their behalf. So I started creating something to save us some, some time here. So, uh, so what if... Sorry. Sorry. Uh, I have to... <laughs> what? Yes, I got I got I'm, I'm sorry. I just have to plug in my uh, PC. Your PC? It's dying? Yeah. <laughs> it's my first idea was, do I got a charger with me? <laughs> I hope so. Yes. Is there a specific age that, uh, how, uh, what, are, what is the age usually of the bachelorette the average, would you say? Do I build it? Yeah. We have like to get us to get by that. More leads. I mean, we have like 25 to 40. Age. Age. So about 25 to 40 year olds getting married, yeah? Or I mm -hmm. and their friends who make that decision. It's, it's the group which we try to focus on. Okay. So. For all of these, uh, uh, what you want to sell, what you need always on Facebook is an attractive offer. Well, obviously, you have attractive content, an amazing show that catches the ladies' attention. So uh, it, it could be, uh, you, you could really capitalize and, and sell out a lot more shows and a lot more bachelorette parties and then really decide what you want to focus on. I'm sure it's shows as well. Um, yeah. But, but, you know, for you guys, since you mentioned that you haven't really advertised right now, you're doing pretty good locally uh, with these things, right, with these services that uh, you want to branch out to neighboring countries and other countries in Europe, right? Mm -hmm. So let's just say that we wanted to target uh, bachelorette, uh, bachelorette parties, right, or the decision makers who could do that, right? So... Here's what I think, right? By default, you can start a campaign and advertise uh, and get results for as little bit uh, and, and test campaigns for as little as five bucks a day, or in your case, five euros. Uh, since I'm creating this from US, it's giving me uh, yeah. uh, dollars. So here I already started putting in, as you can see, people who live in this location. So a lot for you, right? Yeah. So even though you know your audience, I could keep it broad you know, and um, you want to select people who are not everyone, but who live because obviously they're based there and, and we can guess that, you know, they would be making the decision. So now what I entered here before talking to you was, uh, if you can see, oh, you see my screen here with you guys. Uh, do you see here? So it gives us the potential reach of people, right? So here's the thing. If we start from scratch, right, there's a lot of See, friends of newly engaged people, you can actually advertise to uh, people who are friends of those who are engaged, right? Yeah. So, but right now it's not giving us enough of a result. So let's add Estonia for this. Actually, let me reload this because I think it's not showing me correctly. <clears throat> So sometimes if the audience is small that you're targeting, we can set it. Um, well, there's different ways to go about it. So we can, uh, okay, Latvia. So let's just say Latvia, if, it, if the demographics are small, we can, we can add up all of those maybe. And, and oops. <laughs> Engaged. Oh, look, we already got 5,500 people who are relationship status engaged, right? We can also target them uh, newly engaged, just three months. Let's see if we take this off. Okay, newly engaged three months. We can add newly engaged six months. Uh, 
and then we can uh, newly engaged one year. Well, and then in general, just engaged because most likely when do they start planning? Well, it depends when, when they got engaged and how, how, when do they, how, how far in advance do they plan uh, the engage the party, the bachelorette party before? Uh, like one month before. One month Some, before? Yeah, something like one and a half, something like two weeks uh, before. Two weeks before hiring you to come over, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so see, we can add friends of newly engaged people, and then we jump to we have 50, 600. So, here it would, in this case, since the audience is small, we could uh, put in also newly engaged, so it would advertise directly to them. Maybe because, as much as you say, it's often uh, the friends who hire it, only well, of course, it's a surprise. So, let's see what happens when we add neighboring countries, Estonia. You see the numbers st here start changing. Li uh, Lithuania. <laughs> Actually, it's pretty small. Small, okay, now again, <laughs> well, don't see numbers. It just gave to 27,000 possible people. Now, let me go back and see if I can, what happens if I take off all of these life events uh, engaged. Oh. Okay, so we would need to mix in here. Uh, my guess would be uh, in, uh, mix in these targeting. So it's friends of newly engaged people. And here's the thing, I would try another targeting where it just targets women in general, because likelihood of people getting, somebody getting married is big. Um, that you know, but let's just say newly engaged, we'll put those back. Uh, newly engaged, three months, newly engaged, six. What are the countries that you're looking for to do this and also the, the shows? Uh, shows uh, for Europe, uh, for actually for all the world, <laughs> but uh, bachelors only Latin, only local, because you know sometimes uh, the road takes too long time. You you can drive half a day to to one bachelor party, and it's okay. So fuck all this, <laughs> Poland, Estonia. Uh, let's just do it, and let's be faced with this challenge. So the challenge here will become that if I take off uh, the targeting for this newly engaged and friends of, then it's going to give us, of course, a lot bigger audience, which will be all. You know, women, let's say, uh, you know, but I would keep it wider just to, to, yeah, just to later who, who, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remove these again, right? Look, so we, we can see that potentially, I mean, of course, there's a lot of women. Uh, then we get to advertise to a lot. We could, you know, get a lot of social proof and people could tag each other. So we could even go, we leave it 18 to 40 to just, let's say, women, right? And, and then, of course, the, the audience is a lot bigger. So I'll, that would be the option, too, that I would change for targeting because you always want to uh, split test. Uh, also, different targetings and different uh, offers, right? But we're going to go with one offer, and then now let's, let's just stay with this targeting that I had here. So let's go back. So, so it's very broad if we show it to everybody. And, and, but I would still test showing to everybody and see what brings us better results. You can, for, for one week, we can run it with this targeting and another, we can run it with, uh, you know, with, the, with the one I'm putting in now, right? So engaged, go back to that. Six months, newly engaged, yeah, three months. Cause if they like, so for example, imagine what we could do is maybe they're not going to make the decision, but the girl who's engaged and maybe planning her wedding, right? Uh, will like your video or she will comment on it or she will share it kind of hinting to her girlfriends. And then um, even if she likes it or comments on your video, then all of her friends will start seeing that she commented on that video. Make sense? Yeah. Or that she liked that video. So boom, we can technically leave that in. Uh, those who are engaged and add friends of newly engaged people. 
And we can even add a bride. Look, we have uh, engagement, interests, bride. Uh, so I guess somebody who would be looking. Oh, that, that gives us a lot bigger targeting. It just added about 40,000 extra people just because we put additional interest of bride. But I'll remove it for now and keep it quite targeted to just who are recently engaged, right? And those who are friends of newly engaged people, okay? Okay. Um, you ever have guys uh, order this? <laughs> no. Do you ever have I'm guys? Woman. Do you have? Do you ever have guys order it for uh, women or no? No, no. no yes. Always yes. girls. Some guys. No, no. Yeah. Some guys calling say. Ah, yeah. Yes, yes. We have some guy who calling yeah. and say we need bachelor parties. Okay, cool. So let's just say if we're making this. Uh, yeah, we can assume that in Latvia, everybody, well, they don't always list that they speak English because that would give us a less. But even if we were, for the, of course, we're doing this for example purposes now. So if this is targeted only to Latvia, we would, we would keep it in Latvian, right? So we wouldn't really need this, uh, this section, English. We would select English, uh, that they, sp they have to speak English, they know English if we target the neighboring countries, okay? Mm. But in this case, we'll keep it open and, and, and let's just assume that we would duplicate this ad that we're gonna do in English now also in Latvian. So therefore you wouldn't need this, but we know that you know there's about 5,300 people who uh, are either engaged, women who are engaged recently <laughs> from three months to one year and also their friends, okay? And actually gives us a lot of friends, about 20, 20, almost 27,000 uh, women who are friends of those who are just engaged, okay? Mm -hmm. So, oh, all right. Like, uh, okay, never mind. <clears throat> so now let's get to the creative, to the fun part. I started doing some things here, but we're gonna discuss it now. <laughs> so, here you guys have clear videos. Um, let's just see your videos. So we're targeting here, um, we are targeting women and their friends and basically trying to showcase, in this case, um, something more private, not the, uh, not the big event, right? So let's just see all together what's this video, right? Because I already kind of checked it out, kind of shows well, This it. is very, very old video. But it's good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we will, I'll choose other videos and we'll split test them. So right now, let's just say, <laughs> or even let's see what, what other videos. I, I browse through them. So this one is a private party. Gotcha. Yeah. Right, so that would make sense, right? Because it's it's a bachelorette party. It's a very small video, but it's fine. I have like a new one, like inside. All the video from bachelor party. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, and the length is perfect too. They're, they're short enough. This one's just 15 seconds. You grab it from Instagram, right? Uh, so, so we got that. And here's the thing. So the most, uh, most important thing is the offer, what you offer. Uh, and usually, you know, you want to have it so attractive, just like your show and you guys for women that like they attract, uh, the, the offer has to be, as, a, as I would like to call my friend, Billy calls it a sexy, attractive offer. And so not only you have a sexy show, the offer needs to be sexy for people to take you up on it. So what is the method how we could, how we could do this, right? So technically what we're doing here is this. Let me map it out, okay, a little bit. Oh, where's my pen here? Uh, da, 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 da. All right, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna create the ad. It's going to be a video ad, right? 
Mums neko nezīmē. You don't, oh, you don't see my... Nothing, yes. No, you, we just see like mouse goes and uh, tries oh, okay. to... All right. Good, thanks for telling me. Let me, let me, uh, yeah. let me see where this is. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, mine comes. Uh, I'm trying to get out of this. Stop share, okay. Now let me share the sketchboard. No, see it now? No. no, it's black. It's black. Yeah, uh, there's. The Rusrics and Mix started the uh, screen sharing. Oh. Like a tau So, oh, you see my screen. No, tabu kameru, tabu kameru. Sorry. Okay, okay. So sketch. Oh, okay. Gotcha. How about now? Yeah. 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 Cool. So we're gonna create um an ad right so it's gonna be on facebook and instagram you could do yeah. this on youtube too you have all the visual content ig jesus <laughs> uh, so this is a video ad right that will be uh showing up on people's news feeds right okay mm -hmm. so you want to have a short description there and we will write that right now whatever short info and then you want to offer something something for them to take you up on it because hopefully the brides are uh watching right i mean the friends of the brides and um and then the next thing that would happen we would take them Oftentimes, we would want to take them to a landing page. So we don't want to take them to the usual. I'm going to show them your website, too, when it's nice. Uh, but in this case, we don't want them to go to a website because they're going to get distracted, okay? Uh, when people go to a general website where there's several services, they just start, you know, it's like a kid at a candy store. In this case, <laughs> it's very much true, okay? The women will go. They start seeing all the options, wonder when is the next big show. Maybe they should go and, uh, you know, maybe party have the party at the big show, maybe there's one coming up, or, oh no, maybe we should uh, get the private dancer to come to us, which one should we do? Maybe I'll decide later, right? But we wanna yeah. create an offer that doesn't get them confused and where they either say yes or no to that offer. So in this case, and I think what we could even do better and do, since people prefer to really use texting and messaging, and then and, and Facebook knows that, uh, there's, you know, three and a half or what billion people on Facebook, and out of those, more than one billion, vien milliards, yeah, you know, on Facebook Messenger already. So, yeah, you know, just like we chatted on Messenger today. So, I think it would be cool for these ladies who see your offer, I mean, who see your offer, uh, to get to communicate with you right away. It kind of would add add to the whole act. I think you know. So we could tell them, hey, if you like that, whatever offer, uh, here, it will be offer. And we need to create that attract attractive offer right now. The offer will be there and we'll, we'll tell them, hey, well, if you want that offer right now, send us a message, okay? I just want to map it out so you guys and others understand kind of like the logistics, how this is going to work, okay? Mm -hmm. So once they click send message to that offer it's going to bring them instantly to guess what messenger yep <laughs> so it's going to bring them to facebook messenger and which one of you has access or manages mainly your facebook i have you yeah, yeah me also got access but uh it's uh are it's part of job so he manages the okay, messenger. Cool. So here's the thing with messenger. There are ways to, you can engage in the conversation in real time right away, or we can also even add, you can automate the full conversation. Um, on, on a sort of a robot, but in this case, maybe we could ask them some kind of a question that we'll come up with right now. Right. 
<laughs> this looks like my daughter, who's five, drew this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> es tieši domāju, tu vajadzētu pamācīties. <laughs> Thanks. I need to get like an iPad or something so I can draw with, you know, not on the laptop. So I'm just trying to bring out all these technical, but fuck it. As, you, as long as you guys understand everybody else. So you can ask her a question and she would answer and maybe then you uh, answer again. So what would be our goal? How do you usually make the booking when somebody inquires? So you get on a phone call or do they buy right away or you have to talk to them what they need? Oh, so what, what happens even if they go to your website, when they try to order a bachelorette party, what is the process? What happens? Do they have to, do they usually oh, get... They just like uh, calling, just say, we need bachelor parties, can you please call me? And this is one advocate. Okay, cool. It's so, like they are mostly texting like uh, we are like making a bachelor party like, at this this date and we yeah. not need uh, one dancer for this in in this and this place and kind of, you know. And uh, then we text that uh, she have to call to Arvid's uh, number. Then they call and they are just talk. Oh, really? They get Arvi's number right away? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I take many offers for them. Oh, damn, ladies, you hear that? Anyway, look at me sketching up an old-ass phone that probably anybody under 23 wouldn't even know what this is. <laughs> have to cut it out at <laughs> this part. <laughs> so, so after chatting, technically, you would want to get on the phone with them, right? So that would be the goal. And then once you're on the phone with them, uh, what happens? Usually they make the booking and do you take some money up front or do they pay every, or you trust them to pay you all on the spot? Uh, on the spot. In spa. Sometimes some women pay before, but many women in the spa. So you can, I mean, you can do that with PayPal or even you can collect, I would suggest you collect 50% up front, but that depends. If you have a lot of bookings, start getting them. You might want to book maybe a half, up front uh, via uh, Stripe or PayPal, right? But we haven't uh, got problem with this. And you know, sometimes uh, can something change and we have to put another guy and then we have to ask uh, if, she, if it's fine for her. And you know, when you take money, it's like... Okay, so you just get the money at the event. Yeah. So be it. Yeah. In the shows, we, we we take advance payment, but yeah. not in bachelor. Okay, cool. So our goal would be basically, um, and you can, Arvids, if you don't want to give out your number, I mean, it depends on you. You can create a tra <laughs> tracking number, actually, that forwards to uh, to your number. So once you give them, oh, shoot, why is this a bit? Uh, you can create a tracking number, which you, you can buy for like a few bucks, a few euros, <laughs> whatever. Um, and that number, if you give it to them, does several things. Not only it will add privacy for you, mm -hmm. but it, it would also help you uh, look at the stats from that tracking number, let's say within one month, and see how many people actually called in, okay? So maybe yeah. she leaves. I would suggest that she leaves her number and you call them versus after you chat with them, they, you wait for them to call because then you kind of lose your money in a way where you don't get the full information. So another way would be we could create a landing page that they go to and on that page, they would leave their information and then you call back. But I think with you guys, people would definitely love to chat and they're like, oh, I wonder which guy I'm chatting with now, you know? So it kinda, it's, a, it's like a sexy element almost, right? So let's close this up. What do you see now? Do you see my Google? I'm gonna stop share. Yeah, we see you. So uh, let's see. Let's go back to my um, Google Chrome here. You see? Do you see your ad? Yeah. All right, yeah. cool. So let's just say uh, we, we need to figure out the offer. I, as you can see, I started writing some copy here. But the offer is the most important part. So how much does it usually cost uh, on average, like like one or two, whatever you're offering now, this one or two guys, uh, so somebody coming to your bachelorette party, how much does it cost? Uh, we can't answer this question yet. <laughs> you are not the 
<laughs> Pareza Paul. <laughs> but we, we can't answer, just like. Right, but here's a the lot. thing. Huh? A lot. A lot. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. If you want this to work on Facebook, um, the more specific you could be, the better. So if we could, you know, if we could create and give them the price, and let's just say you give it for only the first 10 people who approach you, right? Even if it's, you got to understand it's, it's, you could, you know, get the word spread and maybe you can sell them to something more, but you can get, of course, we could create something where the offer will not be specific enough, but you just met them, uh, talk with them. Uh, or you could put a price to it. So what you're saying is you don't want to put a price to it? No. Does it always differ that much that you can put? Or, or what if it was... Uh, we are planning actually to make it bigger. And it's like... Which is different? If you're putting money there or you're not putting money there? Well, because it becomes a specific offer. Uh, Imagine this, right? If they see that show, or we're gonna split test different videos, so technically we would send out two or three different ads with the same offer, right? And it would yeah. say, let's just say. Hmm? Mail show. So imagine this, what if it's get your own heart stopping mail show from 99 euros, right? I'm not saying it is, that's why I'm trying to, for you yeah. to, to understand, maybe it's usually 250 or does it differ so much? Or is there, is there a lowest price also, which maybe it's not gonna be their case because they're gonna say, hey, we have 12 girls and we want you to be there for 30 minutes and we want two guys. But what I'm saying is if we could put a price to it, it would be a lot more, you know, attractive that you, you could know that it's not, you know, because if you have to chat with you more in mm -hmm. detail, then you sell them on more, but, and, and figure out how much it is. If, if the, there is no price, you know, then it becomes more vague to the optimum, the no concrete. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. uh. So do you understand? We can try put like money. It's like I'm saying this. No, but I'm, yeah. Like, that's, a, yeah, that's a special offer. It doesn't mean that it's your, uh, that it's, uh, okay, okay, okay yeah. we can do like special. We can, we can make like, I Just don't to know. make some, uh, make 10, 10, uh, bachelor, uh, 10 ladies happy, okay? Mm -hmm. So their bachelorette parties yeah. are so awesome. Special they, for, uh, yeah. for mix. They start talking <laughs> to other, you know, their friends and they're like, oh, you should order them. You know, I got the special offer. So you'll have, Goodwill, you can create more videos for those bachelorette parties. So even if it's mm -hmm. five that you did, right? We can mm -hmm. genuinely put in an honest number to that. So what do you think? Can we put a price to it that it's starting from? 120. 100, 120. 100, put in 100. Okay. Like, it doesn't mean you're not promising them that, but maybe yeah, yeah, yeah. the yeah, most yeah. simple version, I don't know, the most simple version could cost, you know, well, okay. not better than a hundred. So maybe they'll call and chat with you, and then what? <laughs> how does the good. price? What is the, the what does the price depend on? I mean, uh, like it depends on the time or who's involved or what type of show. It first of all it depends on uh, where's the me driving. Uh, yeah, where's where from location. location. If okay. it's three guy, it, it is smaller. If it's outside, it can get uh, twice as big. Okay, cool. So the reason I'm uh, saying that because everybody has a budget, right? And what they plan. And if it's a few friends and if the girl saw this and, and right away she's wondering, oh, should I chat or no? But she's like, oh, damn, it's only 100 euros. I could split it with my friends and we could, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. it could be present from me or I could present be from me and, and, and Baiba and we're going to chip in together and do this. You know, it'll be a present from us to her. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So also, since we're, let's say if we are targeting the brides themselves and then she said, she, she would maybe think, oh, it's probably expensive. I'm not sure if I want it enough, but then she's like, oh damn, it's only starting at 99 euros. I'm sure my friends could afford it and make it happen maybe. So I can hint that I would like, you know, we could have fun this way. So it's just the more specific we can be on these platforms, the better. Cause once again, people don't go 
shopping yeah. there. We go to hang out. You have good, good video content that will probably disrupt their attention and get their attention. But now that we got the attention, what do we do with that, right? So if we want those dollars, those euros to, to not go to waste or just to impressions and likes, but actually specific action. And once, let's say you spend 20 euros and you know now you each lead or person who inquires, let's say, you know, in one week we would know even less depending the budget. Let's say we set it at five euros a day and in five days or one week, that's only 35 euros. And maybe we already have, let's say, uh, seven people who inquired, right? So that would be five, five times seven, like five, let's just say one a day, right? Let's just say that one inquiry would, maybe it'll be a euro, but maybe it's five. So we have seven inquiries now for only 35 euros. Do you think that out of those seven inquiries, you could close a few? I think so, yeah. Right, so maybe it'll be one, maybe it'll be fucking five, I don't know, but it's all about testing. So imagine yeah. we close, uh, one and you know she 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 uh off whatever you guys discuss and maybe it's outside of town uh, town she needs this and that so maybe it's 150 or 200 so you just spent only 35 and you got another hundred on top so let's just say deducting ad expenses you just made that hundred or 200 whatever that is your price will be for that party yeah. right maybe yeah. it's the minimum but there's two of them you already got 200 for the price of 35 that inquired and 35 dividing by two and basically each each cu new customer you buy for 16 bucks for 16 euros okay makes sense yeah. so that's how you can test your campaigns and not just for this batch of rats i just want to start with this because it's we can do it with a very little money to test things and get some traction and for you mm -hmm. to see how you can utilize facebook also to sell also your show because you know if we're going to try to sell the show and go to multiple countries you want to up the budget more but from you guys i understand you tried maybe boosting one post you know a lot of people think oh, it doesn't work right now it's things that are picking up for you naturally but if you want to scale that then then we want to be specific test out the offers you have video good video content and what we want them to take specific action okay yeah so let's just say what can we say here get get your own heart stopping <laughs> heart stopping mail should we sh what, what what should we call it strip show what do you call it for bachelorette oh lab dance hmm. you are lab dance or something like this no pasak latvijas viņš pārtūpās no privata deja privat show no so so it's not a mail show it would be like a private Private dance. Private dance show. Well, I mean, it's technically a show. Show or dance. Makes sense, Oh, yes. So, let's just say the text, right? We call them out bachelorettes and their friends. Okay, <laughs> so we call them out so right away they know we're talking to them, okay? Mm -hmm. so let's just say bachelorettes and their friends, boom. So if you're one of those and you're like scrolling, not only they stop to see uh, your abs, but they also, oh, like, damn, how did they know? <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, so I'm a friend of a bachelorette, so this is towards me. Well, let me read it further, okay? So let, Obviously, they're probably getting ready for a party. So, like, getting ready for that special party, we want them to basically say yes to themselves, right? <laughs> um, so, here I started writing something. Get your own heart-stopping Magic Mike mail review show at your bachelorette party. You want to change that up? What do you think? That's good. <laughs> it's good. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and then I wrote here, a breathtaking and exciting... Okay, maybe we need to change this. Dance mail routine show is just a click away. Or is it a dance mail routine show? No, it's like some more solo show. Okay. Because dancing like each uh, time we're dancing a little bit different. We need feel moments. You're not dancing like routines. We all the time like change. Do they get to pick the character? Like fireman or? Yeah. Yeah. Fireman, romantic, biker. Even get to pick from your... 
favorite characters. <laughs> yeah, something like this. So, such, uh, such as what? Swat, S W A T. <laughs> such as. Is it with dots? Yeah. It's yeah. SWAT yeah. team member, right? Uh, what else? Fireman. Uh, fireman. Fireman. No, fireman, no. Yeah, fireman. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fireman, fireman yeah. What, what else? Police officer? Police officer. Romantic. Romantic what? <laughs> like, um... Like uh, classic styles. Classics. Romeo? <laughs> like, yeah. Romeo? <laughs> I don't know. You should DiCaprio, Romeo, <laughs> or something? <laughs> classic lover or classic Romeo? Lover. Lover, yeah. <laughs> okay. And... Uh, biker. But, yeah, biker. Fast Patek, driver. Patek, biker. Canyon driver. Canyon biker. <laughs> hey, don't touch my biker buddies. <laughs> oh, sexy biker. <laughs> biker and more, okay? Yeah. Okay. So bachelorettes and their friends getting ready for that special party. Get your own heart-stopping magic mic. Uh, let me put this bigger. Get, get <laughs> getting ready for that special party. Get your own heart-stopping magic mic mail review show at your bachelorette party. Make sense? Is that correct? Mm-hmm. Do people often refer to it's that perfect. Huh? Yeah, it's perfect writing. Awesome. What was the question? Do people often refer like, oh yeah, they do it like in that movie? Yeah, it's Somewhere. usually, yeah. It's like association with, with the magic. Because you know what else? Also. I would test. We could do another same ad, same offer. As I said, we can split test the targeting, right? So one is this targeting with the bachelorettes and their friends, but the other targeting we can test is general, just women in that age bracket. And another one we can test is all about testing because we're not playing with big money. It was spending, you know, it can invest only 100 euros and you're gonna need, already gonna know which one is the best performing ad, uh, creative, like the video and also the offer and also the targeting. So here you could actually target all women between, you know, 18 to 40 and also who like Magic Mike, <laughs> the movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that trade party, a breathtaking, exciting, uh, exciting male show male solo show is just a click away you, um, oh wait you know what let's let's swap these around uh, bachelorette party you you even get to pick from your favorite character from i uh, just let put from such characters as a SWAT team member, fireman, police officer, lover, biker, and more. <laughs> a breathtaking and exciting male solo show is just a click away, okay? So we're preconditioning them already to expect that it's very easy to basically order this, okay? Mm -hmm. But we're offering a 30-minute, oh, okay, let me change it. So 15 minutes? 12, let's make 12. Yeah, 15, it's double show, double, double, this is it again. Oh, sorry, so... Uh, we're off. So what do you what do you I call it? B bachelor's Tyson. Double Tyson, double Tyson. Okay, private solo show. Yeah, yeah. Private solo show. Yeah. 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 This is even looks sexy. Oh, 99, whatever. 99 to the first. How many you want to give out? Five, ten? Ten. All right, cool. Then you'll and then there'll be a good number for you. Once you have ten people that you interact with, you see how many you close and for how much money. Maybe you will get five people for hundred bucks and they don't want to upsell. Or maybe you'll get two, but you'll end up selling three hundred dollars or euros worth of or five hundred worth of services, right? Mm -hmm. So we just wanted to make it as easy as possible for them to start interacting with you. So if, uh, we're offering a private solo show for only $99 to the first 10 ladies who message us. Message us. 
click message us and of course if you do it in lobby and you can do all of this in lobby and then even the button can be in lobby and if it's created from your ad account okay but yeah. message us to chat with one of us to find out find out more now okay cool mm -hmm. and then get your own heart stopping private show for only let me see if it's not too too much info that you can read. Okay, we can check, uh, test it later on mobile, see how it works, get your own heart stopping private show for, <laughs> okay? So then we can choose thumbnail. Let's see if we can see well enough what's going on there. <laughs> um, and then we would create, what we would do, I would create multiple versions of these, right? So we would choose, let's say we can start, this is one video, and then for the other ad, it will be identical, but just the video will be different. And we'll test which one works better, okay? Yeah. Uh, so this makes perfect sense now, right? Mm -hmm. Boom, see, it catches your eye, then right away you watch the video, and it's exactly what they would be ordering. A men's, I mean, a, a private show. You already saw this, right? That's but you know, I mean. this video is from the beginning and there's only Arvids, yeah. So, but well, the but guys that, get the idea. That's what you would be getting one, uh, one, mm -hmm. one person. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, I'm just saying, you can test it and later I mean, shoot new videos or what, but this video perfectly basically illustrates what you would get. And then we can test it against the other two videos, okay? Or even a picture okay. with all of you. Yeah. Uh, or you can, you know, you can go with that image. <laughs> Do you have an image of all of you? Oh, like all characters? Uh, yeah, it's... Um, this one of them? Well, it's not too visible here. No, it's video, I think. Do you ever see build in no, no, no Facebook? Huh? No, no timeline? No, no, it's timeline, but... Uh, oh, you can select any. Uh, so you have here. Here's more. <laughs> yeah. Right. So you get the idea. So we would split mm -hmm. test, but just for the audience and everybody watching now, let's just select that one video where it's just matches, I think the best right now what you're offering um, and send messages, right? So now what we want to do is set up messages. What that means is even without using such softwares as uh, for all of you watching this one called many chat or how you can automate a full conversation without even getting involved, right? But here we can say, hey, thanks for messaging. We'll keep it a secret just between us, <laughs> okay? Yeah. Uh, you like that? So that's yeah, what they automatically, like. as soon as they press that, they, they send to Messenger. <laughs> oh, and see, it actually, we can change the image here. That's cool. We can... Uh, oh. Here's that image library. Ah, uh, yeah, interesting. That's cool. Well, yeah, mm -hmm. gives you social proof. You actually perform that. Erots for all of those watching is a big, uh, like, a, what is it? Uh, festival. No, festival, not festival, big. like festival. It's festival. festival. Yeah, it's yeah. more festival. Festival exhibition. So thanks for messaging. We'll keep it a secret just between us. And maybe you can use the same video that they just saw, or you can use a different picture, which in this case is cool. You see different guys. Which, which is what you wanted. And then interested to find out more about our show, you know? So we can decide here what that question automatically is. It could, it could also be, uh, let's just, are, are you the bride to be or her friend, right? Mm -hmm. And then she could just answer with, uh, I'm the bride and here I'm one of the friends. Oops. Make sense? Yeah. So look, you see the options? So right mm -hmm. now she clicks the ad. Thanks for messaging. We'll keep it a secret between us. Little humor or whatever. You can change it at any time. Are you the bride to be or her friend? Boom, she selects it. Okay? And right away, you will know who you are dealing with. Isn't that cool? Yeah. yeah. And you can automate, you know, 
uh, you can add other answers. You can add more questions. That's why I said this, this software called, let me show you, ManyChat is the most popular one. I'm not endorsing them. I'm just literally, I use them because they're the best right now. And uh, uh, what this gives you, see, I have my own setup here, Mixozolens. If you go to, let me show you a little bit more how, let's just say you would chat with my company, uh, Facebook and formers and you message me right you see how it's working yeah oh so i ha i have a whole conversation we can read it already how shoot let me see uh so <laughs> here you can see i've automated a whole conversation uh oops so test a Welcome, Mix. So, you know, my company is answering to me here. So, thank you for subscribing. The next post is coming soon. Boom, see? It's the video that they actually used that got them there. Um, I asked them how long. Those are questions relevant to me. So you can figure out what those are. It's a full conversation without me actually even doing this, right? I can be at your show. <laughs> I can be hanging out, I can be doing something else, but this conversation happens on autopilot. So cool, how long have you been in business? The answer, less than a year, 1.5 years, you know? Um, so let me scroll back, I shouldn't have pressed it. So I just wanna show you how you can automate in a cool way the whole freaking conversation, right? So one, five years, uh, so what's the customer lifetime value? So for you, I guess, I don't know if they come back, you have to think about it also long term. For many campaigns that we do on Facebook, you, you, we wanna think in terms of the cost, it's basically how much money you spend and how much you get out, right? So it's don't be hesitant to put out a very attractive offer that maybe your show is usually 500, a private one, but if you put out such attractive offers, you, you will get to talk to a, a lot more potential people who, will, uh, who are interested in your service, make sense? Mm -hmm. So here, see, one year of a customer, I answer, oh, one to five years, meaning how much do you collect? Oh, oh the answer, free consult. Look, I even, I, I, I use some humor here too. Before anything else, I'd love to offer free consultation. Would you like that? Yes, schedule a call. If they do that, it brings them instantly to my scheduling software. If, so you can do that too, right? But you don't want to bring in the general website. You should only do that later, see? So this is an automated audit. You can set that up too if you would like. But in this case, you're going to be chatting with them. You instantly will get a notification on Facebook and you can start chatting. But I'm saying, so in this case, you can see if they say, yes, schedule a call, it's going to bring them to a link to schedule a time with me that day and enter their information. Make sense? Mm -hmm. All fully automated. Or, or tell me a joke. <laughs> okay, maybe they don't want to talk to me. I'll call Mix now. That could be like, uh, your option, if they call you, as I said, you can install a tracking number and then you go to such software as, let's say, CallRail. And you activate it for free even to test it out. And here, let's see. And you can get, this is what I use actually, 30 a month. You can have a 14-day free trial. You have, you, you spit out the number that has the same area code as yours, but it just, doesn't give people publicly your number, but it forwards and you would know how many you can later go there and see how many people actually called you through the ad. Make sense? Yeah. Because it would track and it would record the conversations and everything. So tell me a joke. I had it here. Oh, the person said, okay, tell me a joke. Where's the best place to hide a dead body? The answer, where, where? Well, page two of Google search results. <laughs> and then they can use thanks for nothing. That was funny. All right, cool, and chat again. So maybe they're not interested in services right now, but you get the idea. So you can fully, you could automate the full conversation, but in this case we can, um, oh, okay, I wanted people to see your um, your general website here. So this is when we go to your page, right? It's last season video. Oh, you know it. <laughs> Is this the video where you can kind of see the characters? 
All right, so that's the club. So we could utilize that, that video for a later campaigns when you advertise to DJs and club owners, right? Um, There's a row of clubs, yeah. That's not one so, club. And this, but do you see what I mean? If you, was, if you were to use even the same targeting and same ad that I tell you that we're creating now, but you bring them to here, people will get lost. When somebody finds you in general or based on watching your videos when they want to find more, or maybe they're already looking for you, then they're more interested. What I'm trying to uh, uh, create and why Facebook can work so well is uh, it's, it's a spontaneous, impulsive choice or buy, okay? Because we offer them uh, great, uh, you know, we showcase what you do, what is the service, what is the show, and you, and you offer a great price, and you're like, damn, you don't want to miss out on that. So that's when people take action. They, the fear of missing out on that great deal if it makes sense to them, okay? Mm -hmm. So, but in this case, of course, you have a good website and I like it. Um, oh, we can use this maybe. You could, for, for one of the ads, you can test it. Um, actually, let's go to your Instagram because I think I saw one that I like that you could also. Oh, Ooh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, all right. I, I, there was like one video where the guy was... Uh, on stage, oh, look, that's a great picture. I think it would be a catchy picture for Facebook. You know, it's very contrasty. He's in character. You know, there's some sexual innuendo, as you call it. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's a good one to test out as well. So, um, but you see, so that's your general website and it's good, but uh, we're creating a specific offer with a specific result, right? So I'll close this. So that's that. Do you like, so can we roll with this? Are you the bride to be or her friend? And she answers and then Arvids by then already has two notifications that she, well, one here that she uh, started messaging and answered. And you can just uh, pick up your phone and you see that notification on your Facebook and you just start chatting from there on. Makes sense? Mm -hmm. This is where, where Arvids comes in. Um, so they really, in this case also, they, they would be, I think, pleasantly surprised that it's a real person because here they're like, okay, maybe this is automated, but then you start typing uh, and chatting with her and responding to exact questions. So that'll be cool, I think. And I think it could get you really good results. So does this make sense? Yeah. So let's see. Um, okay, now I just sent it to my mobile so we can't see it yet. So let's just say, so if we like this ad, we review it, uh, it's not gonna let me, oh, I haven't added to, let's see. Okay, we haven't added credit card yet, of course, here. Dan, look at you guys, I created you a whole friggin' ad campaign. <laughs> you excited? Yeah, yeah good. So um, here it's not going to confirm it yet. And Facebook usually has to review when uh, for everybody watching, I want to, uh, well, they're probably questioning if this is going to go through because it does deal with, you know, sexuality and stuff, but there's nothing, you know, we, we're not offering any sexual favors or anything. So it's a legit show. So I don't think we should have. And if uh, Facebook any time gives you trouble for some kind of an ad, you can always appeal it because it's robots actually. They're algorithms who take it down. So often you can appeal an ad and say, hey, listen, I'm not selling any i'm not a prostitute or we're not selling escort services we're selling a legit you know entertainment show so uh and then they approve the ad so but let's just say now um let me let me let me see how the ad would look on the screen okay mm -hmm. you guys have any questions right now we're just checking just checking it out yeah so see, I get your account. No, no. Well, maybe the people should see that account number. I don't know. No. And oh yeah, it's not gonna. All right. So what we need to do. Uh, this is what we're gonna do. Uh, I want I want you guys to see it how it would how would it would look. Okay. So. Payment settings. So I'm going to need to add my card for now. And, uh, and disconnect this for now. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, you wouldn't even see it anyway. Uh, you know, it's only the uh, ending. But um, just to make sure. 
But uh, mess around them, yeah, info. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, now we don't see. I see yourselves. Or oh, now it's. I see your credit card number. Sorry. <laughs> Not anymore, right? No, I see everything. In you do. Mirror. In the mirror. <laughs> We're joking. It's fine. <laughs> All right. So. This is going through. All right, you guys. <laughs> All right, so card is added. Hello, Wilson. You know what? Uh, I will even. You know, my promise was to you. I'm creating this campaign, and you know, okay. more than more than I usually do. As this is a full done for your service at this point. You know, usually, I help people. Um, you know, depends which service you choose. But since you won in this uh, first round of my competition which I'm happy for, and uh, uh, let me see, share screen again, so Google Chrome. So you'll see it now. So we go back to Ads Manager. Ads Manager is where you create, well, Power Editor is where you create all your ads usually, but right now they're bridging those two platforms together. And uh, so let's see, of course, it's not active now, Bachelorette's in Latvia. Mm -hmm going on here it's on a preview so I'm not sure why it's not oh I know because we have to confirm it here um, so maybe you have any questions while we uh, review this no we don't understand nothing <laughs> uh, keep doing <laughs> Doing so, this is where you just confirm. This is the ad that I created. I, I launched to confirm to Facebook that this is the ad I want to launch. Right? This is where you will be able to see all the how much how many people you reach for you know your five euros or five bucks a day in this case, uh, uh, mm -hmm. pending review. So now I'll be able to uh, to check it out. So let's see how it looks on Facebook. Okay. Okay. Facebook post with comments. Look yes. at that. So old school. It feels like, you know. <laughs> so you got your ad, you see? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mail Empire, it comes out from your thing. Uh, you can see people look, oh, damn, look at that. A lot of social proof. you got a lot of likes. Oh, here's the other guys. Oh, I see the characters I could be getting, right? Policeman, police <laughs> officer. So cool, right? And you got yeah. your hat ready. It's specific. It calls out the people we're looking for, bachelorettes and their friends. We acknowledge they're getting ready for that special party. Yes, I am. Get your heart stopping magic mile, mic uh, show for your bachelorette party. Get to pick from characters, um, breathtaking. Obviously, we're offering a private solo show for only. Oh, damn! This uh, this affordable. Of course, we can do it. Let me message you guys. Oh, look at this guy. I want to see him yeah, again. Let's do it. Yes. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Boom. Send message. Uh, this is a pre. Oh, it's actually working. You see? Yeah. So you got it. Would be the bachelorette or her friend, and look at that. Let me open it. You see? Mm-hmm. Here, along your messenger where you have all your friends replying, mail instantly. Thanks for messaging. We'll keep it a secret just between us. Are you the bride to be? I'm one of her friends. I'm one of the friends, okay? And now Arvids, you might already do you have a note if you have your cell phone next to you? Yeah. Do you see this notification possibly? One second. Maybe since the ad is not activated yet, maybe you don't, but check it. You might. I think you might. So if you go to your business page now, I don't know if you have an app uh, where you can see through business page or but on your phone, and now you should be able to answer me right here. Okay? No. No, one second, I check on Facebook. Are you real? <laughs> 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 so and this is where you guys come in and of course if somebody else got, it. Uh, you didn't get it yet yeah I get it you did so answer me yeah. damn it <laughs> see so I see okay they saw my message wow they're about to message me 
the girls are getting excited. Maybe she's chatting alone in the cafe. Maybe she's sitting with her friends like, damn, these guys are chatting now. Oh, 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 oh. I wonder which, which one of these hotties is asking me. Yes. Okay. And it's like with three S's, obviously it's real. Damn. Let me like that. Okay. You get the idea. She's like, fuck no, that was the wrong emoji. Let me put this one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What's your name? Yeah. Ask me. So you can start the conversation here. Boom. Your ad is ready, guys. Mm-hmm. This one up so much. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. We like it. We like it. We really like it. Oh, we like it. Well, let me see this. <laughs> uh, stop share. Do you see me? Yeah, yeah. We see you. Awesome. You excited? Do you have your first friggin' Facebook and Instagram ad ready to yes. go? Yeah, it's very, very good. This is how you do it. <laughs> so, when are we gonna launch it? Launch it. Facebook is probably going to approve it any second or maybe not yet. It takes between a few minutes to sometimes about two days, but usually two it's days, yeah. 24 uh -huh. hours, you know, it, it depends. So I can let you know right away and then we can, if we want to roll, uh, we can launch this for a bit and adjust and, and, and it's easy. Let me show you also uh, how you can uh, split test the ad. Uh, shoot, where are you? Last thing, I'm gonna share it again. Share screen, uh, Google Chrome. So you see it. Mm -hmm. So we usually marketers, you know, and everyone uh, doing this. If you're the business owner and not a professional marketer, a seasoned, uh, you you still you want to split test. If you don't want to be one of those people who are like, oh, Facebook doesn't work. No, motherfucker, you don't work. Okay, you need to put in the work and and test things. So. In this case, we want to test out, like, let's see, in, in this case, I'm guessing, I think it's a good offer, and if they're not responding well, or if you're not going to close any after talking to 10 to 20 people, then probably the offer maybe needs to be changed, or maybe, uh, you know, as you said in the beginning, you don't want to put the number to it. Maybe I'm wrong, right? But we can only find out by testing. Make sense? Yeah. So, but in this case, I would like to keep the ad set, let's say, the same, so we're targeting the same bachelorettes. You know, and uh, their friends in Latvia, right? And then uh, for the ad, this is how you can test different things. So you take this ad and duplicate it, right? It says existing campaign, yep, same campaign, bachelorettes. So right now, I just want to test a different creative because you have so many good videos. So what I would do is just try a different video. What do you think? Which video would be, you know, it could be this, it could be, it could be just a picture. Well, you know, so let's just say no, you want to like one really good videos. Okay. Right. So let's just say, but this is how simple it is to split test it. Right. And boom, you have the same thing, same offer. Right. Um, and uh, just a different video, which might work a lot better. Who knows, right? But we can find out after only already spending five bucks, five euros a day, you know, if we're doing these two at the same time, then in a couple of days, we're already going to know. See how quick this is? Boom. And you just press mm -hmm. review, done, and you have now two. And then you will see all the performance of these ads right here, and mm -hmm. you will see how they're doing. Now they're both pending the review. Uh, you will see how much of the video they watch. Since the videos are so short, I'm, I'm guessing they're going to watch them all the way through. I mean, not everybody, but probably you, you will see how many. You will see uh, new message conversations. So then you will be able to divide. Okay, I invested 100 euros. We had 10 conversations. 100 divided by 10 is 10, right? And then so each conversation is worth 10, 10, uh, 10 bucks or euros to me, right? And out of those... 10 conversations, spending 100 euros, I close, let's say, maybe five, right? So then you know that each lead is $10 or each conversation is $10, but each, uh, each customer you got to buy for 20 bucks or euros. And for 20 bucks or euros on top, you will know out of those, how many of those 10, if those five are who bought your service, how much on average they spent, right? Right. So let's say five on average spent 200 actually instead of the 100 that you, you you say it starts from 100 right 99 yeah so 
on average, it ends up being 200. And now you just made 1000 euros on a 100 euro investment. Make sense? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's all about what you put in and out, of course, and how good the creative is. And then once you start spreading these offers and, and even if it's not this, you know, this is local for Latvia, you said, let's make some Latvian ladies happy and see how Facebook can work for you. Uh, but uh, later on, you can basically, uh, we can create campaign. And if you want to choose to work further or together and you like the results, we can create campaigns that are uh, where we uh, generate those other leads so you can book shows. Mm. either corporate shows or venues or corporate, I mean, events, right? Because that season is coming. So maybe you can figure out what those clients usually are and how competitive the niche is, but you have some unique product, a good service. You have really great videos. So keep making them and always document, you know, the stuff you do, I would say also start documenting some behind the scenes. Cause I saw on Instagram, you had one good one, you're getting dressed and stuff. So maybe adding some humor or whatever, you're getting dressed. That's, that's additional content you can post for free and see what the ladies respond to and then boost that one and use an ad, the video that turns out to be best. So imagine in the next five shows that you do or next five bachelorette parties you do, mm-hmm. you actually record how you are coming up to the place and the reactions, right? If, if, they, if they allow you to, but even what you do on your side, you can document and create a lot more content that you can use for mm-hmm advertising and then seeing out of those five videos which one performed best then choose that video for the ad makes sense mm. yeah so you can use that for instagram stories if you don't want to you, you can have the polished polished looks and polished videos on facebook instagram but on facebook and instagram stories you can uh, create those um, behind the scenes like they don't have to be polished just document what you do yes yeah. yeah we got it cool well, that's about it. I think we've, we've, we've been on air for how, how long already? Sveicien and Svisti and Latviešiem and Latvijas Krunājošiem. So, uh, thanks. I'm glad you guys signed up for the first round of this, uh, whatever we want to call it, competition and, and, or what was it? Uh, uh, a giveaway of creating a campaign, which technically we did it from scratch. Um, any more questions or what do you want to say to everybody, anyone watching? Well, on the thanks thing. for all information. It's very good. It's very good information. Because before you're not doing like this, you're just posting video and then. No, now you, it's yeah, something you fresh for us. Huh? Something new. Something, something new. new for us. Yes. Something new. Well, this platform is not going away. And as you know, most people are on Facebook. And then the younger audience, I mean, everybody's who you need, I believe, is definitely on Facebook. It's, ton of people everybody's there and unless you need well people need to be what 18 or 21 to order these 18 uh, 18 no, so you can, you can dabble in snapchat ads which will now be a lot cheaper probably even than facebook but on facebook still you can capitalize and make i think good money uh, you know you'll see how much you put in and put out just test things and and go to your neighboring countries as you want to do um, you can try Snapchat ads as well, where they swipe up after seeing your video and kind of bring this, you know, to a landing page again or to, to a conversation ultimately mm-hmm. with you. But uh, I'm, I am confident and I do this already for five years. Besides filmmaking, you have a digital marketing agency and I, I'm very positive and, and uh, not just hopeful that this can work really, really, really fucking good for you. <laughs> Okay, because you have that content, you have a good show, you you took your experience from the States and Canada and everything and you brought it back to Europe and now you have a business running it. It's not just uh, the one you're starting, it's an actual business Mm -hmm. that's already running. So now just if you want to scale it up, add advertising to it and that's advertising is the most predictable way for you to generate more income, more sales, make more ladies happy. (laughs) Cool. We're cool. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much. Maybe anyone who's watching, where should they go? Any ladies or gentlemen who want to order this for the, for their brides to be or their friends? Uh, where where should they go to check out? And maybe you know, if they don't see the ad, of course, but if they want to go to a general web page, or what's the best way to reach out to you? You can just uh, search in uh, Facebook Mail Empire Show. Mail Empire Show. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we're going to be the first. 
I guess. <laughs> we'll have to check it, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> First in the best. Maybe we can ask girls how do they find us. <laughs> yeah, they, <laughs> they can comment. Uh, I'm sure they'll find you. <laughs> cool. Awesome, guys. Well, thank you very much. And uh, let's see how this ad goes. And maybe uh, once uh, wherever this post is, I think Facebook just sent a notification that the ad is approved. <laughs> uh, so we can, uh, we can share the results later if you're down and cool with it. Um, even if we're struggling with something and, uh, and I don't know, some ads don't get approved or something or wherever, let's, let's, let's make it happen. Let's share some screenshots or results wherever uh, yeah. this ends up being on the private group or publicly. So if you're watching this on Facebook, Instagram or YouTube, whatever, um, you know, look in the comments below or a link that ties to this video. We're going to share the results after this campaign. Um, not only runs its course, but even maybe once it's just a week into it and we see yeah. how we start doing. Cool? Okay. All right, guys. Yeah, thanks, Bye. Mix, for everything. Bye. <laughs> see you soon. Ciao. Ciao, ciao, ciao. ciao.